Nancy Green with Film Critique. And uh, first of all, Sope, uh, congratulations on the second season of Gangs of London. That's, that's great. And um, I also wanted to ask about the movie. I, you know, I found the list very interesting in that we kind of still do that sort of thing today. You hear about people having their um, preferences, their texts, the things that um, are their non-negotiables. So I wanted to know, um, what do you think about that? And in terms of the movie, how does uh, that list kind of com compare to the way it's done today? One of the reasons the movie is so relatable and the themes of this, like the criteria is because like you said, yeah, everybody does have not necessarily a physical list or that maybe these people haven't sat down and thought about like, oh, I want this and not that, but people do have like hopes and dreams and wishes and desires that they want to share with someone who might relate to them, you know? Mm -hmm. So when he says he wants her to be well read, it's probably because, you know, I want someone who's interested in the same things as I am so that when we're sat at home and dinner, we're not just like eating and looking at each other. We have something that we can share, you know? Uh, if you're on a dating app and you say, I like surfing, you're probably looking to share surfing with somebody or at least someone who's open to it. Um, so yeah, there are the, the concept of sharing the things that I like with somebody that I like, you know, is not ridiculous or far-fetched, but it's the scientific rigid nature of it that doesn't work. And it doesn't work today either. Um, I think you have to be open to new experiences and you have to be open to other people's experience of life, other people's dispositions. Otherwise, you'll end up basically chasing yourself, which is like this narcissistic, uh, weird thing that I don't think makes any relationship happy. Hey, Nancy, do you know what one of my favorite lines in the film of yours, Chopé, is um, when you're when you're on a long walk with with Frida um Selena and you say very vulnerably actually you know holding the teacup right or the balls or whatever are the parts of this courtship or this parts of this society that I understand and all the rest you find really I can't remember the word that you use but you oh, find no. overwhelming I think that's such a window into um that character and makes a real sense of why he would use the list as, as a shield, as the script goes. And um, I, I, you know, the more I think about um, this list and 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 all the <laughs> slightly unreachable qualities on the list that are obviously what make my character extremely angry at the beginning of the film. When I think about them objectively they really are these um, barriers that you're putting up to potentially finding the right partner. So it's almost like you're saying, this is what I want, but at the same time, you're pushing away, as you say, Chopé, the, the, um, the, the human spark that can just exist between two people. So I, I love that, that it's a sign of his vulnerabilities. And, um, and I love that he's open about those vulnerabilities in moments in the film that feel really pivotal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.